Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. God is good. All the time. All the time. God is in this place. Because he says, where his people gather, he is in the midst to bless and to do good. Let us unite our hearts in prayer. Sorry for those who sat down already. But we ask if you can just let those legs get some exercise of the muscles. Let us pray. Let us unite our hearts. Almighty God, King of kings and Lord of lords, you are the great I am. You are the God to whom we place all our trust and confidence and we give you everything because you are able to go abundantly more than what we could have asked or do. And so tonight, loving God, we come in worship and praise of you as the one who has called us together, not only as churches, but as your children, your disciples. You have gathered us and you have started a journey with us. We know, Lord God, that whatever you start, you will bring it to completion. And so we praise you and we worship you for hearts that are being touched, for spirits that are being lifted, for souls that are being nurtured, for lives, oh God, that are being mended, that were broken, lives that were empty are being filled. Lord, you are our Jehovah Jireh. Because you provide, Lord God, and in response to your provisions, we come to worship you. Because you are worthy of our praise. Lord, as the praises go up, May the blessings come down. For we exalt you on high as our King who is above all other kings. As our Lord who is above all other authority. As our God, the God of our faith, who is the God who stands strong and ready. So, Lord God, we pray as you have ushered us through our praise team into this time of worship. That as we come, loving God, may self be slain and you, O oh God, be exalted. May you be truly lifted up from the depths of our hearts. And may your people resoundingly say, You have been with us and you are with us. You, O oh God, worthy of our praise, worthy of adoration. Worthy of thanksgiving. You are worthy, Lord. And so tonight, loving God, we pray that as you even break that word to us, that our hearts will once more be challenged, be encouraged, be strengthened. For you have given us reason to be here. And for that we come. For nothing less but to worship you and to reach out to you so that you may use us to reach the souls of your people in North Side and in East Side. For this we pray in the name of Christ, our Lord, our Redeemer, and the people of God say. Sisters and brothers, is it good for us as God's people, God's children, to be together like this? Isn't it a good feeling? Oh man.
some of the members from from some church of God are here because I saw them earlier. They might be wondering who passed the parts of the walls. But let me see the wave of them. Okay, okay. Very much. Very much. And then we have Reverend Dwight Wright, the man who's always right. Okay, from the New Testament Church of God, I rock. Pastor, don't challenge me on that one. Don't put a pastor or a politician behind that microphone. Okay, see my sisters and brothers of the High Rock family. Amen. 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 And we are also Pastor Oral McCaffrey, who needs no introduction. He has East and written all the way, right? He's known to everyone. And so, acknowledge Pastor <laughs> And tonight, we are so blessed as we were last night. We have two Pastor McCaffrey in the house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. We have Pastor Judith. I've got a voice there. And guess what? She comes with the anointed word tonight. <laughs> and you see, you see when she drop it? Just take yours and lead with it. Yes. Go work it out with fear and trembling in your closet. Amen? Amen. Amen. Right? Amen. Yes. So whatever God has made on our heart, just take yours and lead with it. Amen, Sister Judy? Right. She always has an anointing word, yes? Yes. And our brother, Pastor Conway King from the Northside Wednesday and Boldness Church um, was here with us last night. He had an emergency, so we hope we will see him. If not, we know that that emergency has um, really kept him at bay for tonight, but I know he really wants to be here. And so we thank God for him and the work that he does, not only in our side, but also in Wednesday and in our schools as well. Tonight, as we come to worship God, I want you to make sure that you have the top turn up. And you come expecting, and you come to what? Receive. But you also come to give. Amen to that one? Amen. Amen. Right. You notice we always say when the blessings go up. Pray, when you pray, ah, no matter where you're not sleeping. <laughs> Amen. So when the praises go up, that's your heart enough. You know? You're praising not only with your voices, but with your entire being. And even with the gifts that God has given you, you're praising with those as well. Amen. 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 Sisters and brothers. Tonight we're not going to keep you up for long, but we want you to be focused because the word is coming. And so as we give of whatever offering that God has made on your heart, I want you to just do a little act now before you give up your offering. If it's in the pocket, just hold the pocket like this, put your hand over the pocket. If it's in the purse, you put your hand over the purse and you whisper that prayer. Ask the Lord to bless it. Because we know that in the blessing there will be multiplication. Right? So just bless it in the quietness of your heart. So we invite the praise team to come as they lead us to the theme song and as we give of our gifts. What's the theme for tonight? Convince me again. What is the theme for tonight? 